Hello everyone! This is day two of the Loch Ness 360 Trail. Today we're going about 13 and a half miles from Dora's to Foyer's. As you can see, I'm in a pass way above Loch Ness. It is sunny and barely windy today. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm walking this beautiful pass where I can see most of the loch, so we are keeping an eye out there. Haven't seen much yet, not even any boats. It's a pretty calm day on the loch, so I think if anything kind of breaks the surface, we'll be able to see. If you look down, there are beautiful wildflowers all over this pass. It's absolutely stunning. What a gorgeous day. It's sunny. It's like 70 degrees. It's perfect out here. What a day. We've hardly passed anyone on the trail, just one other group. So it's just the perfect walk today. So we're here high above Loch Ness, keeping an eye on the waters. And one of the things I want to talk about is the possibility that Nessie is something that's come in from the ocean. So we talked the other day about ocean creatures coming into Loch Ness through the River Ness and the Moray Firth. Anything that lives in the North Sea can come into the loch. So there are special tours for spotting seals and otters on Loch Ness. And those are something that would definitely give the humped shape of Nessie. Uh, so I've seen photos claiming to be Nessie where they are clearly seals or otters. So that's something that people are definitely mistaking for Nessie on certain occasions. But there could also be other things coming in from the ocean. One thing that a lot of people have presented is the idea of an oar fish. So these are these very long eel-like fish. They can get up to 20 feet. Now, I don't think that that explains all of the sightings or everything that people have seen or photographed, um, but we do need to keep in mind that there are creatures that could come into this lock from the North Sea. Particularly, I'm not sure that anyone's fielded the idea of a shark. Now, you might be thinking that sharks, they're saltwater animals, this is freshwater, so maybe not. But sharks are kind of infamous for being able to go from salt to freshwater and survive. Bull sharks do it all the time. Jaws is based on a bull shark that made it into a river in New Jersey and, you know, attacked a couple of people. That's what the movie and the book are based on. In particular, with water this cold, I'm wondering if a Greenland shark couldn't have made it into the lock. A Greenland shark's skin could have kind of the properties people are describing for Nessie. And Greenland sharks are some of the longest lived animals on the planet. They can live up to about 400 years. So even a single Greenland shark making it into Loch Ness could have the potential for a lot of Nessie sightings. So that's something that I've kind of been thinking of and looking at the loch and looking at how big it is and looking at the River Ness and the Moray Firth, I think it's possible that a Greenland shark could make it into Loch Ness. And Greenland sharks are huge. That's definitely something that people would say that is something other than what is supposed to be in this lake. So that is my theory of the day. Could possibly be a Greenland shark that's not supposed to be in the loch. But it is absolutely stunning up here. I'm enjoying it so much keeping an eye on this lock all day. Anything that breaks the surface, we're definitely gonna see it. So follow along, I'll definitely post today when we get to foyers and see what that town's all about. So follow along, bye guys.